Back with us again from ABX Group is Dr. Mark Cooksey. Now, Mark, the headline news today is that larger scale testing from ANSO has verified promising results from the small scale tests from your Deep Leads project. Give us all the information. Yeah, thanks, Danielle. Yeah, well, a couple of weeks ago, we announced um, what we call diagnostic test results from ANSO, which is where they do you know, just sort of 80 grams of material and we got very high extractions, particularly of the heavy rare earths, so that's up around 70%. What we're reporting now is larger scale tests with 300 grams of material. And again, those high extractions have been achieved, so over 60% um, for all the critical rare earths, including dysprosium and terbium. So can we speak specifically about the proportions of the specific rare earths? Because of course there are various and sundry, but some are more in demand and harder to find than others. That's right. So there's there's four rare earths needed for the permanent magnets. They're under the most demand. And then the two of those four that um, have the most supply risk are dysprosium and terbium because they're almost totally produced in one country, China. And so there's two critical things that the ABX resource has. First is, is a high proportion of those two rare earths. So our proportion of those is over 4%, which is of, of, of the total amount of rare earths, which is sort of basically the highest we know of anywhere almost for any clay resource. And the second thing is, well, once you've got them, which is 0.1, can you get them out? And that's where these extraction results are so important is that we're getting well over half of those rare earths extracted under extremely benign conditions, you know, effectively no acid, you know, it's just, it's effectively salt water. And so that's what makes our, um, deposit so exciting and so prospective. So it is fascinating that you are able to work on this deposit in two places at once. We understand that on this testing front, ANSO is still on track to deliver its initial MREC sample by the end of this year. Now, is that still the case? Tell us about the importance of this side of the work. Yeah, so this program is about producing a mixed rare earth carbonate sample. So that's an actual uh, powder of all the rare earths still mixed together, but relatively pure, quite high purity. Um, we're very keen to see what that looks like, both in terms of what's the proportion of rare earths in it, which as we've discussed, should be high in dysprosium and terbium, and also really should have very low impurities such as aluminium and iron, et cetera. Um, yeah, we've been saying um, on track to be done in quarter four, uh, now we're actually saying November, and uh, ASDO's going pretty fast. So we, we, we're pretty sure we'll have those results by November. And we've got customers um, you know, asking us, when, you know, when's this sample coming? We're, we're really keen to see it. Well, thank you for these updates. I'm sure there'll be more shortly as exploration is ongoing at Deep Leads. That's right. Thanks, Daniel.